Yo, welcome back. Zykor here. And today in No Man's Sky, well, uh, in my previous episode, and in the episode before that, I created a Nautilin, and uh, uh, in my previous episode, I was attempting to fuel it, but I don't have the blueprint for the hydrothermal fuel cell. So, after doing some research, yes, just a little bit of research. <laughs> uh, mostly using the wiki. Uh, I noticed that the only way to that you'll most likely be given the hydrothermal fuel cell blueprint is to go through the story. Yeah. You gotta get through the story, and then it gets... It um, activates a mission called Dreams of the Deep. And that will basically give you the Nautilus stuff. Um, looks like you can also get it activated by like achieving the Explorer milestone. That's like 40 warps. But as far as I've seen here, I'm only at like 13 warps. <laughs> so it's probably better for me if I just um, continue through the story. So that's what I'm going to do here, at least. Um, let's see, head here. Because this will get me to the story. And it looks like I have quite a long ways to go on the story, though. So it might be a little while before I'm able to use my Nautilin. But it looks like the Dreams of the Deep uh, quest will give even the blueprints for... The Nautilin itself, the probably the hydrothermal fuel cells, but I'm not actually fully sure because it doesn't specifically say that. It should though, because it's requiring you to use it. Is this? No, oh, looks like I got that already. Okay, so where is the start on that planet? Okay. Actually, I might as well go see what there is for upgrades here. Just head up here quick. See if I have any exosuit upgrades that I that came back. Nope. Sometimes they do come back. Um, let's check out the multi-tool. Eh, it's an A rank, but it's kind of crummy. Okay. Just head out here. Now, I don't remember exactly what portion of the story I'm on at the moment. Um, let's see. Where is that? Right there. There we go. Unknown signal. So, what... Where was I at? It's been a little while. This is an unknown planet, so I'll discover a new planet. Timer's ticking up. <laughs> Looks like it's oops, <laughs> like a grave marker. Okay, I've just dis discovered a new planet here, so I'm gonna wait for that, but yeah, grave marker. So we'll see what this says. It, Artemis. Ah, okay, this is Artemis. I approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis. But there's only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask who's there. Ask if they are all right. Well. If it's supposedly Artemis, I'll ask if they're all right. Are you all right, Artemis? If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. The hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu, as if I've been here before, right at this very moment. Ask where they are, ask what is wrong. 
I guess. Where they are, I guess. Let's see what happens. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came. Watched closely. Machines, murderers. Against the... Uh, it's too broken. The voice falls silent. The projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I have received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the uh, signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are called them, but still beloved anomaly, they, not a polo, watching us, tracking. So something about not a polo. Mistake, abandoned, but it wasn't. The, the, through the portal, please don't trust. Don't trust who? It's too broken. Can't understand you, Artemis. I'm afraid, aren't. Uh, well, if she's afraid, I'll comfort Artemis. The projection fizzles away to mere static. This echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis. A grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead. Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo the, and what I have seen. Okay. Contact Apollo at a holo terminus. Okay. So, is there a holo terminus? Ah, okay. Let's see. You gonna show me where one is? Activate the holo terminus. Okay. In before it's right in front of me. It is right in front of me. <laughs> but I wasn't able to run there. I had to use my ship anyway. Fairly close, though. Aha! Landing pad. Always love to have landing pads. I notice there's a building over here to the right, on uh, farther on too. I'll have to check that out. Always got to chart these places because why not? that in there. There we go. Okay, now to get up there. Just run up the stairs. I would use my jetpack to get up there, but <laughs> I always tend to miss <laughs> and end up falling anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should go get that stuff. Whoa, what is that? It's a large animal. That's kind of cool. Although it's walking right into the wall. It's like it's stuck. <laughs> they look like... What? Big... Stegosauruses? Or something? Or Spinosaurus? <laughs> Just get up here. Okay, talk to this. Warning. Network compromised. Warning. Manual override required. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Perform manual override. The warning messages cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. Okay. Who is that? 
Oh, is this Null? Yeah, this is Null. He's the next guy in... in the... Uh, storyline, I think. You are not alone. Well, I know I'm not alone. Tell me. What's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Uh, let's see. Ask who they are. Suggest death does not erase life. Suggest we improve the lives of others. Say you do not know. Hmm. I would probably answer one of the two of these. Well, I'll just say, I'll suggest that death does not erase life. I think. <laughs> we'll see. But it does. All those moments, gone. Everything that came before, meaningless. Not necessarily, no. I know you, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? A fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? Demand to know who they are? Say you would do it? Say you need to know more? Say I would do it, because I would save her if I could. Like a fool, you rush in, eager to do whatever you are commanded. You remind me of myself, you know. Hmm. Okay. Not necessarily eager to do everything I'm commanded. The blood of Artemis's data. The heart is... I mean, the heart, it's glitch. Hmm. I can help you retrieve them both. So, he's saying that uh, Artemis is data. We require a mind arc, a receptacle, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? Yeah, that's what I'm working on. I'm reactivating Artemis' frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call the mind arc, a device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. I'm accepting that. I accept, not knowing who this stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures. But if there's a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. Soul Engine. Powerful Organic Computing Unit. Okay. Wait, you just you just told me that. Blueprint recorded catalog, mind arc. Okay, so Soul Engine and Mind Arc reported to catalog. Oh! Am I supposed to talk to Artemis now? Hyperdrive upgrade required to locate cadmium. Install the cadmium drive in your ship. Uh, I don't need to do that because I have an indium drive. Uh, um, am I supposed to talk to Artemis or not? It's, huh, it's not really telling me. So I have to actually go to red systems to find cadmium. That's basically what it's saying. So does that mean she's going to stay here? Let's just see. Are you... Are you... Are you... Artemis repeats those two words endlessly. Unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc before I can help them further. Yeah, okay. Mind arc. Okay. Wait there, Artemis. I'll be back when I have the mind arc. Ha! Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just damaged myself. Okay, um... Get in here. Take this. Nanites! Yes, always welcome nanites. And there's nothing in here. This building was useless. Head to this building. Will this building be useless or useful? Nanites. It was useful. Okay, but that's it. Okay, yeah. Uh, just keep walking into the wall. Oh, there's a lot of those guys on here. 
Oh, what's that one? No. I was trying to scan you. No. Oh, well, I'll scan the flowers too. Oh well. <laughs> Just wanted to know what that was. There we go. Got 105k for that though. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, um, as far as I know, I saw another... Which way was that? I think I came in, I landed this way, and I saw something over the hill here. Let's check that out quick. And, of course, I had to come over a Venus flytrap. Of course. Let's get over here. Oh, it's a manufacturing facility. Okay. Hmm. If I break into that... At least I think of the manufacturing facility. Let's ch uh, chart this here. Okay. Yep. I gotta break into this. Hmm. Will I be able to do it? Well, let's try it. Reload. If I can't, I'll run away. Reload. Run in. Ha ha ha, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Okay, um, let's see. For it's a terminal, search for a way to override the alarm. Find a likely looking button and press it, causing the terminal to respond. Gra! Viking voice security. The flap flicks open and a microphone emerges. A distant voice shouts, Gra! I'll bark Gra, because. That's how Viking are. I bark aggressively in the, at the terminal. This appears to satisfy whatever demand was being made of me. Access is granted. Ha ha! Normal operations have resumed, and I have access to the facility's main control panel. I should be able to alter production to my own benefit. Okay, nanites, units, recipe. I will probably want a recipe because I could get the Atlas Pass from this. You never know. Oh. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Factory override units. Oh, that's what they're used for. Um, Atlas Pass. I'm going to get that. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay, so you want these factory override units. Actually, why do I have three of them? I thought I only had one. Portable reactor. I can't get the fuel, can I? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like I can get the fuel. I'll get the Atlas Pass. Oh, nuts. I can get Atlas Pass V2, too? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Cadmium. And... Oh, I almost feel like I shouldn't use it on all, but that Atlas Pass V3, I mean, uh, come on. I gotta get that. I mean, honestly, there's nothing else. Oh, hydrothermal fuel cell. Oh, that is... Oh, what do I do? I won't have to do the whole... I could... <laughs> hmm. 
It's Atlas Pass or Hydrothermia Fioso. Which do I do? Which do I choose? No. You can scan for... Um, for these machine... Uh, ah, manufacturing facilities. So I'm... I don't know how to get factory override units. But I guess I'm going to get the Hydrothermal Fuel Cell. I know Atlas Pass V3 could be useful for getting into some of those secret areas. But... This way, I won't have to, you know, specifically get and do the Dreams of the Deep. There we go. Yes. Okay, now I can make fuel for my, uh, my Nautilin. Ha! Huh. I'm glad I came here. <laughs> I am really glad I came here. And I got Atlas Passes to boot. This is, this is nice. This is awesome. I assume, though, that that's only uh, doable with the those. What is it? That, what are, it was the factory override units. I bet if I didn't have one, it would probably have been random. I don't know how I had three. I thought I only had two. Just actually, not two. Just one. I thought I just. I swear I just had one when I was just looking before I started here. But, you know, I guess I'm going to probably continue with the story a little bit here anyway. Because who doesn't want to help Artemis? I mean, why not? Okay, so next thing I need to do is go find Cadmium. Let's just take off here. Report the appearance of Null Hanada. Wait, what? Oh. Is that? Oh, that's the anomaly quest, isn't it? Let's see here. Yeah. This is what I need to do first. Right? Unless, it, I mean, it's kind of both at the same time, so I guess I could, but I need to find a red system for cadmium. So it wants me to get cadmium. I have a cadmium drive though. You're gonna actually make me make a cadmium drive? Please no. It almost seems like it's gonna. Well, let's see, is there any red systems here? Orbital station coordinates received. Uh, uh, anomaly, I don't need an anomaly. Wait, what is that? Current mission. That's not at. No, I went. Not looking for an Atlas station. I'm looking for. Um. The other. Other filter. There we go. Uh, no, not that. No, no filter. There we go. I want these. There we go. Uh, current mission. So, the current mission is in the current location. Okay. Is there any red systems? Why do they all look the same color? Let's see. Life form. Economy. Is that really a red system? That's like... Huh, that's got no information on it. Uh, that's... Why do these systems all look weird? Maybe just because I have no info info on them? Huh. And this is my... That's what I was trying to do. The R to expand it. Yet. Yeah. This isn't necessarily a red system. That's just economy because it changed. Yeah, the colors change. Where, why can't I f filter it by... Huh. Okay, well... Uh, let's head to the anomaly quick. Because I can... 
It's hard to tell what is red on that screen. <laughs> I'll just talk to Nada and Polo here. From here. Report null. See what they say. Maybe they'll give me a um, waypoint or something to a, a red system. It's kind of weird because on the on the map, it's like all of the s colors of the systems are the same color. I mean, they're supposed to be different colors, so you can tell whether it's red or yellow or or blue or green. All the colors of the rainbow. Okay, um, let's head up here. I'm gonna cheat. And go over the barrier. Ha ha ha. Okay, so, let's see. Who did I need to talk to first for this? Appearance of Null to Nada. Okay. Hello, Nada. Ask about Null, ask about Apollo, ask, say nothing, or lead. So, I guess ask about Null. Other entity is old, older than Nada. Older than our home. Nada feels them watching. So he's talking about Null, I think. Nada asked the other entity, are they first? Are they last? Missing entity chose not to answer. They have ignored us. Apollo entity ignores us too. Ignores the travelers. Such is their pattern. It is inva It is valid. Nada understands. Okay. That's it. Hey, he gave me some quicksilver. That's nice. Okay, so Polo... Oh, okay, it's just... Okay. That's it. Okay, so... Well, I guess... It's still saying that. Let's talk to Nada and Polo here. Nada says you have met missing friend. Missing friend did not like me. <laughs> Ask about no. They're not like me, or like Nada. They have freedom, like all of you, traveler friends. But they do not share the, the sights they see. They hoard them, they are jealous. Polo does not approve. Okay, is that all I need to do? Continue with Null's plan. Okay. Construct the mine arc for Artemis on here. Purchase technology reference or base new base parts aboard the anomaly. Wait. What? Well, let's see. It's saying continue with Noah's plan. So, does that mean I'm supposed to act change active mission in the lo Okay, so yeah, it's telling me to just continue here. Okay, so are you going to actually give me a cadmium system? A red system? That's all I need. Aha! You can stand on that. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Do I have any red systems in my discoveries? Yellow, blue, green. I don't have any red systems. Nuts. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to try to make use of the warp map find a cadmium system or something <laughs> okay now I'll use oh god what why can't I use the galaxy map right there oh there I was too close okay so yeah like all these systems are greenish <laughs> They all look the same color. You know, let me change. I don't want a destination to a black hole. I want probably free explore. <laughs> Galactic center. It would be cursed in current mission, actually. It doesn't even let me select current mission. Fine. Free explore. That's what I'll have to do. Now, are any of these red systems? It's so. There's a red system. 
Isn't this red? Looks like it's too far away. Same thing with that one. So they're, yeah, they're slightly different colors. It's just in that green gas cloud here, it's hard to see them. It's hard to tell if they're yellow or red. I know I can get to red systems. So if I'm up here, supposedly, That one's got water. I can't tell if it's red or not. It looks red. Isn't that within my warp range? Well, why is there no data available? That's not fair. Let's go. We'll see. This will add one more warp to my uh, achievements anyway. <laughs> That was actually a pretty quick warp. Okay, is this a red system? I hope it is. Two planets, one moon. So this is just an uncharted system? Is there... Let me guess. There's no space station here. Let's check it out in here. It is a red system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an uncharted system. So that probably means there's no space station here. Well, let's see if there's cadmium on this planet. Yes. High sentinel activity, though. <laughs> I don't know why it would make me make a cadmium drive, though. That's not fair. Wait a second. Install cadmium drive to my ship. So, I wait a second. <laughs> of course, you know what? It's telling me to install a cadmium drive in my ship. It's not, cadmium isn't required for a cadmium drive. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just... Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'll float here for a little bit. Um... Technology slots, ah, they're full. So if I, I just need chromatic metal, which I don't have enough. How much do I need? I mean, I guess uh, what I can do is I can break it. I can dismantle it. It's not fair that they require you to make a cadmium drive though. If you have an indium drive, it should count. Okay, well, let's see. Land here. I'll refine some chromatic metal, I think. Did I have? I have indium I was gonna sell. Let's just see what this of course, I can, yeah, if I actually find cadmium, if I actually mine some cadmium out here, I should be able to refine some chromatic metal from that. Phosphorus, armored clams, not much on here. Not much in this area. Wow. This planet doesn't have much. Is there anything here? Hydrogen. Dihydrogen. Well, I don't have anything on me. I guess I can use some of my indium. I was going to sell this. I need a hundred... Actually, I need a double of the chromatic metal I have. So, I guess... Oh, it's just going to refine the ferrite dust? Or no, it's not going to. Of course. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's just get 125. There we go. That's all I want. 
I want to sell this. Of course, I guess it's actually a pretty good way of making some, though. So, okay. Um, let's see. Install a cadmium drive just to satisfy it. And I guess I'll put it here. No, not that. I don't want that. Cadmium drive. Does that count? Does that count? Let's see. Nope, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. I have to actually install the thing. Ah, okay. I didn't want to use all that. Okay, let's see. Land on a planet with available cadmium. All standard plants in... Okay. Okay, now it wants me to collect cadmium. Okay. Yeah, I had to do it. Nah, it's, that wasn't fair. And I'm going to have to take off again because... There is no cadmium in the area. Which is odd. <laughs> I'll just scan these. Weird looking animals. Okay. Of course, I guess I could just summon my... Nah. It's easier to just fly for the moment. Especially since there's not really much for land on this planet. Okay, let's head over to this larger landmass. See what there is for cadmium over here, if there's any. Get down here. Cadmium right there. Good, good, good. That's what I was looking for. None closer, right? I didn't actually look. That's uh, farther. Okay. Let's get this up here. Let me up. There we go. Okay. Time to terrain manipulate. Huh, I needed 120. I guess I might need to switch to the lower size. <laughs> Wanted to do this fast, but no. Pretty much got to end this episode off anyway. But, uh, I'll get this mined up here quick. Okay, uh, I'm in a storm. <laughs> Gotta get back to my ship here, quickly. Okay. That was actually a really, really large cadmium uh, node. Let's see here. 2,345 cadmium. <laughs> yeah, that was big. I even kinda had to leave before I ha was finished with it. <laughs> so, um, now. Uh, I need to get living pearls. So, what else do I need to get? I wish it would tell me. All I'd have to do is go back to my main base. In my main base. To. To get, um. The living pearls. So, let's get out here. I don't think there's a... Space station here. Doesn't look it. So I think I'm just going to have to warp out. Uh, 
because I don't see a space station anywhere. There's nothing here. So the it said this is an uncharted system, so most likely there isn't a space station. It'd be nice to come back here, but I don't think I can. Well, I can maybe set a waypoint to it. Yeah, if I want to. Okay, so... Um, no, I don't want to... Urhadel. Okay, no, I just want to go back to Urhadel. Of course, actually, I'd like to go to... You know what? No. Let me see. I'll warp directly to Midori. Wait, no. Wrong thing. <laughs> Here. Warp directly to Midori because I'll just go back to my planet. And my base. So, I'll make set a waypoint. There we go. Now, let's see. Custom waypoint. There we go. So, where's Midori? Oh, it's that far off? <laughs> okay. I guess I'll have to go to Urhadel. <laughs> wow, Midori is way over here. Wait, where is it? Uh, no, that's not even Midori. Okay, so I'm re really far off. Okay, so I'm just going to warp to Urhado and then teleport from there. Actually, no, I could... Is there another system I can, I've can i identified? I can identify? A rich system, maybe? I mean, I could go to this... Agboku since it's the atlas location. Looks like it's got Gex. So, I mean, I guess, why not? Might as well get a new place in my, uh, in my discoveries. But otherwise, yeah, this episode's probably time to end this off here. I got I was gonna, uh, try to fuel my Norman, but I don't think I'll get to that. And here's the anomaly. Or, not anomaly, the Atlas interface. But I'll have to leave that here because I'll have to come back here another time for that. here around this way I can go to the Atlas interface sometime and easily rather than having to warp here okay okay that's weird <laughs> That took a long time to save my restore point. Hopefully it's saved correctly. I'll look at these. And then I'll warp to Midori, get the living pearls. I don't know how many I'm, more I need, but... Uh, just my base. Okay, just got to get out here and find some living pearls. Where are the living pearls? Are there any? Yeah, there we go. Are there any here? Well. I'll probably have to finish this in the next episode. Don't want this to go on too much longer here. Huh. Oh, there's one. Just 
get over here. If I have to get anything else, I'll just end this off. Switch to my bolt caster. Okay, I need to craft metal plating. Where's my base? This is what the Nautilin would be so useful for, though. <laughs> I'll, ha I'll make the Nautilin fuel in the next episode, though, because that would be nice. Just get out here. Okay. Craft product. Okay, I'll have to make the Atlas Pass next time because that will be something interesting. Oh, metal plating. Okay, I'll make the Soul Engine. And then the Mind Arc, I'll need glass. I think I have some glass. If I don't have any glass, it's actually pretty easy to make from silica powder. Actually, you know what? I'll just make it from silica powder. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's living glass. Frost crystals? Wait. No, or is it refined? I swear you can make... There we go. You can refine silica powder to uh, glass. I need three. Didn't I? There we go. Just put that in my exosuit. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, I made a, made a mind arc. Finally. <laughs> So that'll allow me to uh, save a uh, Artemis. Although I'm, I might pause anyway now that I don't have to do it. But it does give some interesting blueprints for that Dreams of the Deep quest. So yeah, this is an awful long episode. But if you like this episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that bell icon. Leave a comment and share it. And yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.